What is up guys? Heath with Lake Champlain Sanitation here. On this week's video, we are going to show you how to brand your dumpsters. The carts did come in, very busy week. All the dumpsters are out, dump trailers out, pretty cool. Let's hop into it. So the day's finally come guys, cart delivery day. We got about 140 that showed up today. It's just like Christmas for the garbage man. We'll get these unloaded and give you a full spread. So guys, we are improvising dropping the carts into the roll-off. Let me get this out of the way. And then bringing them to the ground because when you don't have a forklift, sometimes it's all you can do. But we still got a lot of them to unload. That's mint. So multi-using uh, the dumpsters, obviously that was pretty cool. Um, but yeah, so carts came in Monday. That was crazy busy uh, getting those out. We got like 150 carts in. We've already delivered 70. That was really cool. Um, but I want to bring you guys um, through my week a little bit with me. Did a clean out. Um, did some branding on the dumpsters. And this is going to be mainly about branding your dumpsters. Hopefully it helps you guys out. Um, I did it wrong in the beginning. I'm trying to get better at it as I go. Uh, good problem to have is your dumpsters are just flowing. They're just moving in and out. You get them from the dealer or from wherever, the manufacturer, and boom, they're out getting rented. That's kind of what happened um, this whole season, but stuff's coming to a close now. But as you can see behind me here, I'm gonna flip this camera around. This is the first time this has happened literally, I think, all year. We have a completely empty yard no dump trailer no rollster trailer none of the five dumpsters are here just these two lonely trucks and the reason for that is i had a customer call a really good customer of mine does a lot of roofs with me um my four dumpsters i knew i had to drop them off between thursday and friday and he called me I don't remember if this was like Wednesday or Thursday. It was like, hey, Heath, I don't think you're going to be able to get your roll off in here. You might have to leave the whole trailer. So I drove by it um, same day. Was like, okay, yeah, I could definitely put the trailer in there. Just not going to roll it because it's on a hill. We got that off. And then, um, like I'm going to show Friday, we got a customer that called, needed to roll off. All five are booked. What are we going to do? Can you use a dump trailer? Like I said in the, the videos before, guys, 100K with a dump trailer is not impossible, especially when you push it. Just like that, 320 bucks weekend rental, just for a ton, a couple hundred bucks profit. It's all good. So without further ado, we're gonna hop into this branding video. Hope you guys enjoy it. Alrighty, guys, so it's Friday morning here. Currently, I don't know if you can see that, 26 degrees on the old thermometer. Um, doing a quick clean out this morning should take me about 15 minutes. Uh, normally what I'll do is like a flat rate charge that can range anywhere from 75 all the way up to $300, depending on how long it's going to take. This one's going to be around a buck 30. Um, that one's going to cover the dump fees, which I assume this is going to be under the dump minimum, which is 30 bucks in our area. Um, we don't pay by the ton when it's under a ton, if that makes sense. Um, you're paying like a flat rate up to so many hundreds of pounds. Uh, but anyway, yeah, in and out quick hundred bucks, make that this morning and then go deliver some dumpsters. So a little bit of random crap here and here, nothing major, just some boxes, some old junk. This is one of our residential customers. Um, like I said, a few minutes and we're out of here. Starting uh, your dumpster rental business, branding and marketing is probably one of the most important things. As in any business, you need to get your name out there. Branding on your dumpsters is going to be crucial though. I have seen some pretty cool things over the last like six months from guys that are in girls that custom paint their dumpsters. Literally every single one is custom painted different with like a black logo. That, that stood out to me a lot. I probably want to do that to mine just because I like everything to look the same, but that was cool um, in my opinion for their business. Um, I've seen uh, people that will do a small logo and I'll throw a photo in here of uh, when I used to have small logos just in the center of my dumpsters. And, and then now how I have my dumpsters set up, which I'll show you in a minute, where they have a large logo spreading down the whole side. Now the phone number isn't on mine as you're gonna see in a second here, but you know, 
you can put your phone number on them. I just didn't on these. The phone number is really big on the truck that I deliver them with. Next year, I plan to put rent me on the back doors of it. So when someone's following you and the phone number on the back of it. But for right now, before winter, I just wanted to get everything looking exactly the same. So when we go into spring next year, because, you know, it's going to die down in the winter, but I don't have an indoor shop to put graphics on next spring. You know, we're, I'm going to get more vinyl made and do the phone number then um, on the back doors. So dumpster rental, how do you brand your dumpsters? As you can see on mine, I have finally gotten large logos on all but one of my dumpsters. Three of them are in the yard here. I went through and took the PJ stickers off, guys, off all these. I haven't like goo gone and got all the crap off. As you can see, the crud's still on there, but these things get pretty dirty. They're semi clean right now because I did do one more simple green before I shut my water off, um, but uh, for the winter, so it doesn't freeze. Uh, but they normally would come, like these were coming with a little graphic there. It was where I bought them from. PJ sticker here, rollster sticker there. Uh, PJ trailer sticker there, another rollster sticker, and the same on the other side. I took those off just because I think it looks a lot cleaner the way it is. Let me know what you guys think in the comments below if you would have kept the branding on it. I kind of like it just smooth like this, black with a DOT tape. That way, when someone's driving by, they don't get confused by having four different you know brands on it, even though the brand that, that makes the dumpster is not a dumpster rental company, but it still could be confusing. Now it's just Lake Champlain Sanitation, loud and proud, easy to read. And let me know what you guys think. Um, if you like, you know, if you like these decals over a traditional small decal in the center. So cost is going to be obviously one of the largest things um, that, you know, people are going to want to know. Uh, great, you can make everything look awesome, but is it going to cost me thousands of dollars to make these things look good? Answer is no. I'll break down that here um, as well, just to show you, you know, give you a breakdown of how much I spent on each um, sticker and uh, I guess as a whole how much the dumpster cost me to brand and I do all the vinyl work myself so keep that in mind if you get them all installed by somebody else which I will tell you it's very very easy to install them yourself if you have a simple heat gun you can put them on in about 20 minutes aside not too bad and that that includes cleaning it you know pre-treating it and cleaning it beforehand so the keeping keep in mind the costs that you're going to see are going to be um, with you or, uh, you know, installing it yourself. It'd be a DIY project, not bringing it to a vinyl shop to have them install it for you. So cost-wise to brand these dumpsters, just to give you an idea with the logos you see behind me, I got five sets made. One set is not on yet, but the other four are. Uh, they all came from the same person and I did get them printed at the same time, which can obviously save you money if you're doing it in bulk and they don't have to cut extra vinyl. But I was right at $500 plus tax for the vinyl. So basically that broke down to $100 per dumpster. And if you count them, there are eight decals on each dumpster now between the Lake Champlain Sanitation and the mountain that's on both sides. So $100 per dumpster, it is heavy vinyl. Um, I get it from a guy who does like wraps on snowmobiles and motorcycles. So it's heavier duty vinyl to put up with what the dump puts on these things and the pressure washing. You might be able to get it a little cheaper if you go through through like an online site or like a some kind of third party fast, you know, printing expedition thing. Um, but, you know, this is heavy duty vinyl. Plan on it lasting two to three years if the dumpsters don't rust out that fast. Um, and yeah, you're looking at $500, about $100 a dumpster, $50 per side if you want to break down the branding costs that I have into these PJ uh, Rollster dumpsters. A good little trick to keep in mind too, guys, is have your truck um, or whatever's, you know, if it's a hook lift truck, if it's a pickup truck with a trailer like I use, in my opinion, it should all flow. Like the logo on the door should also match the logo on the dumpsters and it's one moving billboard because you got to think when that dumpster is not on there, you know, you don't want the customer to see a different logo on the truck than what's on the dumpster, which for a little while I had that going on. Like you'll see in that picture, it doesn't look exactly like how it does on my truck now. And I've rebranded it since, which is going to go on next year. But, uh, you know, you learn these things through time, just you know, if you see a truck driving down the road, um, say it's a landscaping truck and they got one logo on, and it sounds really silly. You're like, oh my, you know, no one would ever do this. Who would be so silly to do that? But I, I did it, you know, because in the beginning you're evolving, everything's changing, right? So 
you want the truck to match the trailer or you want the truck to match the dumpster. So say you go to someone's house, you got a nice door decal on a, on a big cab chassis and you know, the dumpster itself is logoed exactly the same. Everything flows. That's going to look super professional. When you take pictures, it's going to look good for your social medias. It's such a small detail, but it can really mean a lot. Now, when I pull into the landfill, when I am driving down through like a main city street, I'm very proud of my dumpsters and my truck because everything flows. There's no question like who is that what company is that like everything's easy to read and uh even driving by at you know 30 40 miles an hour you can easily read everything that's on the truck and the dumpster and i, I think that's a pretty important thing to say because like i said it's a small detail that people do miss just to give you guys an idea as we go down through That's what I'm talking about, having everything matching. That's it for this one, guys. As always, thanks for watching. If you like the channel, like and subscribe. And uh, we're going to keep growing this thing. Have a great weekend.